Hi guys, I'm Sasha from Deadly Dolphin Productions. Uh, I'm the artist that made all of the music that's in the game and all of the sound effects. And today I'm going to be showing you guys um, some of the iterations we went through in the music and what ended up being the final OST of the game. So as the main music that plays as you play the game in the arena, uh, I started off with this um, kalimba. This is the pattern I had. I used Omnisphere, which is a bank that has a bunch of sounds you can use to create music. Added a little guitar strum to it. A percussion loop here. The first version was a little bit too slow, so I made a, a faster version. But it still didn't quite fit, you know, the theme of the game. So I reworked it completely into Aquatic Showdown, which uses similar instruments and um, the same key of the song, but it's a little bit more chill and the instruments fit better, in my opinion, at least. So, um, as it loads in FL Studio, I'll just uh, play the first version of Aquatic Slow. <laughs> and as you can hear, the kalimba sound effects the same, but the progression of the music is just a little bit different. And then I added synths on this part. Just before the drum. So that was the first version of Aquatic Slowdown, which had the synth and the drop with the drums at the end. Then I went on to improve it, made it a little bit faster. And yes, I toned down the scene and added my own uh, bongo drums. chill and not too intense since it's on loop the whole time throughout the game um, and after that in the final version which I believe this is the final version yeah I changed the synth of the guitar so the synth that plays in this part became the guitar to all of these soundtracks in the soundtrack folder on our SharePoint. Next let's move on to the main menu music which started off as the balloons. It was meant to be just a chill song to get you ready and start playing the game. Nothing too crazy. But then I added drums to it because I like Wait, sound with drums. I also changed the uh, instruments you wish to be safely. But as you can hear, this is just a little too much for main menu music. So I uh, reworked it and I, I changed it to be very smooth and simple and not too much. As you can hear, it's just one string, and then I made a little bongo drum here, and another very chill. After 
I made that, I think. Yeah, I slowed it down. And version we ended up using in the final game. Next let's move on to the victory music that we ended up using in the game. Right here I've got the first version, which started off with this little happy tune and the wow, and then just goes to this happy little tune that's funny, meant to sound like celebration, you know, added trumpets, a whole lot of drums, you know, to get people dancing, but just all these drums together, it ended up being too much as a victory song it didn't quite fit the game it didn't fit the vibe of the game at all and it was just a little bit too much so here's the final version of the victory music it starts off with this little celebratory tune and then drops you into the rest of the song the crash and a whole bunch of instruments there's percussion there's a bongo drum here which plays throughout the drum then there's a clap some hi-hats here and a steel drum which is the following the rhythm of victory uh, next I created a little kalimba which is also cute I had this funky guitar which follows almost the entire of the song I really enjoyed uh, the way it sounds there's this little vocal um, loop which I made which sounds very funny and I think it fits the game perfectly. Then there's synths underneath it to uh, give it a full feeling of victory, you know. Very victorious chord progression on these synths as well. And in the background, which are quite hard to hear, I have these bells. And to make them stand out more, I added a little bit of a crush effect on it. This little 8 big lo fi effect. But it's not too much, just a little bit of it. And I thought this loop was very beautiful, but you can't quite make it out in the final song. All together, I think it sounds very victorious. So, gives you the true sense of victory. Throughout the songs, I uh, changed the assembly of everything, you know, making some instruments dropped out uh, to make it sound more dynamic. This part you can hear steel drums and the guitar. And then. Here near the end, everything drops out, it's just a guitar to end everything off. So yeah, that's the victory music. By far the hardest song I made, but also my favorite. Lastly, let's talk about the sound effects. So, um, I'll start off with the sound effect that plays when you hit the border. It started very simply just being a wood sound. And then I added a coin because the puck in the game is a coin, it's a doubloon, so added a coin to it. And then I also made a vision with a bubble because it's underwater, so of course it's a really bubble sound. Um, they ended up being too soft and just not sounding satisfying enough. Which is why... Yeah, the version I made here sounds... It's just a little bit more satisfying. I ended up um, changing the pitch of it, tweaking it a little bit in the mix, and this is a warm version which has a bubble on it. And I, uh, I prefer this version. Oh, yeah. This is the uh, transition music that plays when you transition, when you press play, you transition to the game, or when you transition to the victory uh, screen once you've won. Um, I had to remove. <laughs> As you can see, I made a couple of versions with sound effects in them and voices. I had to remove them because they were a little bit too long, a little bit too distracting. So I made a version that's just bubbles. But then I also had to remove the little victory tune in there because it was too much. And so we ended up just having bubbles. Next, let's move on to the tentacle sound effects, which happen when you slap the puck. These were the original. Very slappy. There's a version with a little bubble and a version without. And this was meant to happen when you had a critical hit on the puck, which is a feature we didn't end up using. Um, the sounds were just a little bit too long, a little bit too 
Slappy. And yeah, then I moved on to a sound which sounded a little bit too juicy to be a slap sound. And it needed to be fast. Which is why I ended up using a new slap sound. Came up with these, which I liked. Um, and that eventually evolved in this very uh, quick slap. Because it needs to be quick and dry because it's going to be played a lot. So these old ones, they were just a little bit too long, um, long you know, these too much effects on it. Fuck. Just a quick slap, that's all you need. Fuck yeah. This puck yes sound effect is what we used um, when you scored a goal. So I'll just move into the goal sound effects. This is the first goal sound effect I came up with. So yeah, it's a little celebratory tune when you hit the goal, you know, there's explosion, fireworks, a little tune. Then I added the uh, puck yeah on the end. Goal. Oh no, it's I mean I added the goal on the end. Uh, puck, puck yeah was yeah. different. Goal. So yeah, there's a goal sound effect at the end. Goal. And then I added a couple effects to make it sound like I was under the water. Um, next I had to um, make it just sound a little bit more crisp, add a little mix to it, and make it faster so i made this go fast as you can hear the tune starts immediately in the old one it starts later on immediately it's a lot faster and then ah uh, yes of course and then finally i made this which has a louder go in it um this sound effect was meant to play when the balloons hit each hit each other because there's a power up which adds two blue the balloons to the field. Um I made two other ones. These were the original but they were just silent. Then I made this one but we ended up going with this which is a little bit more coiny, a little bit more satisfying sounding. Um then I want to talk about the bubble sound effect which plays when you hit a bubble which is the power up. Uh, at first I just had two simple pops, but I wanted to make them more watery, more bubbly. So I had a little water sound effect to them. Um, and yeah, what's, that? what's left? Yeah, the menu buttons. This is the original menu button sound I had, which had a little chewing in it. But it ended up being too much, so it just became click. And then a louder click. Um, I guess I'll show one last look into how I made the um, goal sound effect, a uh, new version. Um, as you can see, at first I had this uh, firework sound effect, which I liked. I thought it sounded really celebratory, like you just hit something you won. Um, then I added a drum to it and some water to make it sound like it was kind of under the water happening and I added some water movement and the cool sound effect <laughs> and all of that combined with the celebratory music <laughs> makes the final uh, cool sound effect so yeah that's been a look into some of the music of Octopuck I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching oh, yeah.